Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Shape Builder tool and draw, draw more complex shapes in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to go to File New, create a letter size document. My preference is to have orientation landscape, create. Um, I'm going to draw a circle here. I hold the shift button down so I give uh, I end up with a perfect circle. I'm going to change the color and remove the stroke. There you have it. I would like to have four of these overlapping. So what I, what you can do is to copy and paste it. So I'm going to press control C and then control V. If you have Mac, you would press Command C to copy and Command V to paste. I'm going to do that a couple more times. Now I have four of these shapes. Um, I would like to have these overlapping. And I would like to create a shape out of these overlapping parts. So if you click and drag to select all of them. You see there are tons of different shapes that could come out of this. I'm going to go to Shape Builder tool and hover over this shape now. Uh, you see the plus sign, it means it's going to merge these elements or segments, but I want to actually subtract this time. So I'm going to hold on Alt. If you have Mac, that would be Option. So now it turns to a minus, which means it's going to subtract. I can click here, 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 and here, and maybe here, here, here. So end up with a new shape. So there you have it. Um, we're going to use this technique and create a, uh, a little bit more complex shape. Um, I'm going to draw a wrench. So. Let's select this one, press delete to get rid of it. Um, in order to draw a wrench, we have to analyze what the wrench looks like. And um, I'm going to do that by the illustration here. Let's pick up the rectangle tool, click and drag. This is going to be the handle part. I'm going to pick up the ellipse tool. hold shift click and drag that's a circle for us there you go and I'm going to duplicate this one as well so copy and paste and I need to take a part of this out so I will need a polygon tool in order to do that I'm going to go to here go to the polygon tool Do one click here to make sure we have six sides. Cancel. Now I'm going to click and drag. Again, if you hold shift, it draws straight polygon for you. I'm going to change the color and drag it over here. It's a little bit too large, so I'm going to resize it a bit using the selection tool. All right, I need another one of these. Okay. There you go, it's lined up. So Control C, Control V, or Command C, Command V for Mac, and I'm gonna put it here. There you go. So what I need to do is, is to combine these parts and also subtract these parts. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit with the selection tool click and drag to choose or select all of these shapes let's switch to shape builder tool it has a plus sign I'm gonna hold on alt or options for Mac it turns to minus click here click here click here and do the same thing with the right side one click here one click here and one click here so that's gone now I, I would like to merge these elements so I remove my finger from Alt button, now it turns to a plus sign, it means it's going to merge these. So I'm going to click and drag, and there you have it. Now we have one single 
shape. Let's change the color to something better. Okay. Let's go to gray and then I'm going to change the stroke color as well. Give it a darker gray and increase the stroke size. So there you have it. That's drawing a wrench using basic shapes and shape builder tool. Thank you for watching.